All right, hey guys, it's time for the updated rainbow color correction video. So basically, I took the rainbow color correction from before, and I fixed it up. Uh, all the keyframes are perfect. And um, I fixed all of the issues you could have been having with the last one. So this one is absolutely perfect, and hopefully it'll work a lot better for you. So the main issue, I think, with the last one was you couldn't open it with after effects cs6 but what i happened to do was download after effects cc12 which is basically the first version of after effects and i recreated the preset in there so one second so basically i did some research and i found that with After Effects CC12, you can actually save back into CS6 format. So I recreated the preset here. So I recreated this preset, and then what I did was I saved back into a CS6 form. And this will allow the preset to be opened in both After Effects CC and CS6. So that I think that was the main issue, but it's been fixed now. So everyone can use this preset. And um, yeah, hopefully it'll just fix some of the problems you were having. Um, another thing was, I think the frame rate needed to be 29.97. That's been fixed. You can use any frame rate now and uh, the keyframes will be fine. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. So, one second. E. So if you did get the preset, it'll show up under updated rainbow color correction. So just drag and drop it in your clip or adjustment layer, doesn't matter. And just change your blending mode to overlay. And just like that, you're done. It's, it's perfect. Before, there were, I think, maybe two keyframes that were off and might have messed with the flow of it, but those have been fixed, and I can promise you that all these keyframes will be perfect. And, yeah. So, really quick, just hit U on your keyboard and check out all the keyframes here. This is something I forgot to mention in the last video with which could have possibly messed something up. But basically, when you're changing colors, you, you can't just change it at a random time because what it'll do is it'll transition from the first color to the second color. So this could have caused some problems in the flow of the preset, but all that you have to do is drag right to the beginning, and then from here, change your color. So just as a reference, as long as you see all four bars, solid colors, then the preset will work perfectly. And um, just in case that was causing problems, uh, now that's been fixed. And oh yeah, the last thing was just before I only talked about overlay, but each of these different blending modes will give a different effect. And um, overlay is the basic one and overlay looked really nice. But I was playing around with hue, and um, if you're doing a shatter or something like that, let's give that a moment to render. So hue actually looks really nice in a shatter. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say that don't limit yourself to, to overlay. Uh, feel free to try out some other ones, and you'll get different effects. Yeah, that's it. And um, it's just as simple and easy to use as before. Hopefully this will fix the problems you guys might have been having. And um, if you enjoyed the video, just leave a like. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Thank you.